Omicron variant creating chaos on the eve of the busiest day of the Christmas travel period. Cases exploding again, leaving a lot of travelers anxious. The state of Georgia reporting 5,700 new cases of COVID today. That's 2,000 more than yesterday and the most we've seen since September 21st. CBS 46's Zach Summers live at the world's busiest airport. And Zach Omicron has a lot of Georgians trying to get their own health checked before they head out of town. Yeah, certainly, Rick and Sean, some people have been lucky, but others have run into long wait times at testing sites and empty shelves as some stores in the metro have been without those at-home tests for days. Better today than tomorrow. Whether it was flying into Atlanta. Home to Dahlonega. Or somewhere out of state. St. Louis. Hartsville Jackson International was full of flyers trying to beat the rush ahead of the busiest travel day before Christmas. Well, we're all triple vaccinated. Colleen Bayless is headed to Dallas. She took a last minute COVID test before picking up her grandparents. Oh, I feel pretty protected with uh, the vaccine and masks. And then, of course, washing our hands diligently. I have not been on a flight since about maybe August. Sharon Norman is traveling to see her son in Kentucky. She secured a PCR test at her job two days ago, skeptical of at-home rapid tests. We need to be very careful um, due to the fact that, you know, if you're not sure exactly how to swab, you're going to get a lot of inconclusive reports. Dr. Michelle Al believes home testing is vital, but the Georgia State Senator says without a standardized reporting method in place, there's no true way we can know case numbers or positivity rates. If we're blind to this data, that we are really not giving people the information they need to um, to be able to go about their lives as safely as they want to. It's a concern some travelers hadn't considered. But I think we got a little bit complacent. Now, as we told you yesterday, President Biden promising 500 million or excuse me, 500 million at home tests available to Americans at no cost come next month. But many folks we talked to say it doesn't help with the situation we're dealing with right now surrounding the holidays. We're live at Atlanta's Hartsville Jackson International. Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Zach.